Hi everyone. In last part, we connected the MySQL database with the Laravel and we fetch the data also from the MySQL database. In this part, we'll see how we can display this data in tabular form with the help of view. So first of all, we will make a view in our project. After that, we will call this view from the controller and we will pass this uh, DB database from controller to view. Then we will use for each loop to display this data overview and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you in Laravel job, project and interviews. So you can access this playlist from the uh, description box. All right. So let's first create a view with the help of terminal. So let me stop the PHP artisan server and then run PHP artisan make view command and view name can be anything I'm putting there users because our controller and database name is also users all right so uh, not actually database name database name is laravel there but our table name is users all right so hit enter and now you will see that in the resources we have a uh, one more view which is users.blade.php and for now I am putting there h1 tag and here we can see that let's say users list now we can call this uh, view in the controller so what we can do we can just store this data in a variable for now you can see that this data is visible in the form in the form of json so let me create a variable with the name of users and then let's return view there and view name will be users you don't need to add the dot blade dot php extension just simply put the first name which is users and now if you will refresh and yeah one more thing we have to start php artisan server again and now you can see that user list this is perfectly working fine so the next thing is how we can pass this data this users data to this view simply we can we can create a array for the second parameter and there pass any key let's say key name is users and then the value of this key is also users and uh, now we we can access this users in our view because we are using this users view right so simply what you need to do simply use their users uh, but see this is this is the array so we have to use a print r so use print r and then put dollar users and now you will see we can see this data from the database over the ui but see this is not actually perfectly working fine so what we need to do we have to show this data in a tabular format so for that what i'll do i am creating a table and uh, inside this table let's take tr and then td and the td name let's say name then email and last one is phone number so why i'm putting these three things because see in the data in the database with the users table we have the four uh, columns id name email and phone number id we don't need to use actually right so we will use name email and phone number there so now if you will refresh the view you can see that we are getting these three things but this is not look like a table so better is let's provide a border even if you want then you can use css for border that will be much better here you can see that but now what we need to do you can just use this for each loop inside the uh, you can use this tr inside a for each loop so let me put there for each loop and inside this use users as dollar user and you can just uh, end this for each also and inside this let's paste this this data and replace this name with a dollar user and then name let's see what we are getting here you can see that we are getting this dynamic name which is coming from the database and if you want you can remove this printer this is not useful right similarly if you will put there dollar user because we are using the loop and this users variable we have to use then email again if you see why how i do know like we have to put their email only you can check the database column name so that's we are using right and for last one again simply use dollar user and then uh, phone and you can see on the ui we are able to fetch this data perfect but let's say if you want to see 
uh, show one more data there so this is same because we are using their loop so you can as uh, many data as you uh, want to add so let me add one more data so let's say username is sam email id is sam at the rate test.com then uh, phone number let's say let me put some dummy phone number and now you can see that we have two data there and if you refresh you will find we still have the two datas there also so that's a way that how we can uh, get the data from database that we learned in the next last part and now how we can display this data on the ui so for interview question they can ask what is the command on the php artisan terminal to make a view how we can pass data from controller to view and how we can use for each loop to display the data from database and thank you so much this is my paytm number for donation and i'll request you to please watch uh, the complete videos complete this series like this video share your feedback in comment section and subscribe this channel too. thanks guys